Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the topic of orthographic projection. So in this video we're going to look at where we get our symbol for our first and third angle projection. And if you haven't already done so I recommend you go back and watch our previous video on first and third angle projection. So we'll begin by first of all looking at how the symbol is created. So if we look at our main body of our symbol it's made up of this trapezoidal shape here. And what that actually is, is the front elevation of this truncated cone, of what's known as a frustum. And our symbol is basically made up of a combination of the front elevation of this shape and the end elevation of this shape. So the end elevation is going to look like two concentric circles, so two circles that share the same centre point. And if we go back to our original view here, so here we have our front elevation. If you remember from our first and third angle video, the difference between first and third angle is the placement of our views. So for first angle, our end view is going to be placed on the right hand side. So we look from the left and our end view appears on the right hand side. So that's going to be our symbol for first angle projection. Likewise for third angle projection, if we're looking in from the left hand side of our object, our end view is going to appear on the left hand side. So that's going to form the basis of our third angle projection. So all we have left to do then is to just put in our centre li lines on our object to give us our symbol for third angle and our symbol for first angle. Now when you're drawing this you're going to want to maintain a certain proportion to make sure that your drawing keeps to the standard. So the proportions that we're going to keep for our drawings is going to be like so. So the diameter of our main circle here is going to be D and the distance between the end view here, so the centre of our end view and the front of our front elevation is going to be one and a quarter times D. The length of our trapezoid is going to be D and the angle of the sides here are going to be at 30 degrees. So just let's give a sample dimension for that. So instead of calling it D we're going to say that it's 16 millimetres. So if the overall diameter is 16 millimetres that means the distance or the space between the end view and the front elevation is going to be 20, the length of our trapezoid is going to be 16 and as before our angles here are 30 degrees. And where we get the diameter for this inner circle here, if we have our front of our elevation drawn and we go back at our 30 degree line here, if we measure back 16 millimetres here and just square it off with our set square, that's going to give us the radius or the diameter for our inner circle. So we can just take him across giving us the radius or diameter of our inner circle. And likewise, once you have the symbol, um, the next thing is the placement of that symbol. So generally speaking, we put it down in the bottom right hand corner beside our title block. But depending on the company that you're working for, um, you might place your title block in different positions. So um, generally speaking, it will go hand in hand with the likes of your title block. Um, so that's our explanation of where the symbols come from, from our first and third angle. Um, I hope this has been of some use to you. And as always, stay tuned for more videos for more information. Thank you very much.